Hey everyone, today I am doing part two of at least a three-part series on something that everybody has, and that is depression. Everybody goes through it, so let me try to help you with that. The first one, I already did the first video. If you haven't seen it, be sure to check that out. That one was about everybody needs a, a reason to exist. They need a purpose. They need something to look forward to. They need a passion of some kind, a hobby, something that when they wake up in the morning, they have something to look forward to. Otherwise, if you don't have a reason to exist, uh, that's a good setup for depression. Uh, secondly, antidepressants just make you more depressed. Anybody who takes them should know this. They, they, they backfire. So they might make you feel good for a little while, but then they start taking, it hits you twice as hard afterwards and you get more depressed. Antidepressants can actually make people suicidal. And it's the same thing with stimulants. Anybody who takes something that tries to make them feel good, coffee, sugar, you know, carbs, any kind of hallucinogenic that make, gives you a high for a while, anybody, you all know that those things that you take that give you a high, you crash twice as low afterwards, and then you have to crawl out of that hole of crashing. Um, it, it's just not the answer. You can't just take something to make you, f to hide the problem and get rid of it. And you're, you're just hiding the problem. It's just going to keep growing. The problem is still there. You're just not dealing with it. So the answer is not to take something. Eating right is important. You know, like the green formula, for example, if you're going to fast, which is a great way to, to cleanse yourself, you got to clean yourself with the crap. Uh, it keeps you steady, all energy steady all day long. You don't have a high, you don't have a low. It just keeps you going, which is, which is the great. And get enough sleep. That's important too. You got to go to bed earlier enough. Uh, and you got to have quality sleep so you wake up refreshed. These are the basics. But today's issue is about something that is common. It's very common with people that are depressed. And that is they are waiting for someone or something else to come through for them. They have an expectation. They have a hope that the money's going to come through, that someone's going to love them, that a relationship thing. You're waiting for something or someone to come through and that, and you're on hold. And until that happens, you're going to be, you know, your life just doesn't exist. You're, 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 you're it's, it's a miserable situation. Anytime you wait for something or someone else to come through that's going to save you, you're setting yourself up for disappointment and ultimately depression. You can't do that. It doesn't matter if it's your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your husband, your wife, your coworker, your boss. If you're waiting for something outside of yourself to save you, you're setting yourself up for disaster. And not only that, the subconscious thing of feeling that it's going to require someone else to get you out of your hole, your rut, it makes you feel, you know, you feel worse because it's a dependency issue. The only time you're going to feel really good and empowered is when you are in control of your own life. For example, people get disappointed when someone else doesn't behave the way they want them to. Well, nobody's going to behave the way you want. They're going to behave the way they want, ultimately. And you can't change that. You cannot control people. You cannot control others. That's what we want to do, but it doesn't happen. People are going to be the way they want. They might never change. So what you need to do is realize that the only one that you can ever control is yourself. And that starts with you taking control and not waiting for them to make you happy, to give you money, to give you whatever it is that you need to be happy. You need to start doing it on your own. That's a big step for a lot of people. It's painful, but you got to start with the baby step. You got to start with what you know you can handle and work your way. You got to crawl out of that hole yourself. Anytime you're dependent on someone else, it makes you less desirable too. People don't want to be around someone that's a burden on them. It's a burden. Just think of people who are waiting for you to come through. That's a hassle. Nobody wants that. So you have to be in control of yourself and pull yourself out of that hole on your own. And that would, that's what makes people attractive to others is when somebody's in control of their own life and they have, they're doing what it takes. And even if it's a big, heavy burden and they're, they're just, ah, oh, you know, but at least people see you making an effort to get yourself out of that hole. They might offer to help here. Let me help you with that. But waiting for them to take the first step, waiting for them to come through with whatever it is to save you, it's a major setup for disappointment and disaster. So that's a huge one. Never ever wait for someone else to come through for you. Never wait for someone else to give you your happiness, to give you your money, to give you your health, whatever it is. You need to start taking the steps yourself. They might join you, they might help you, but don't expect it, don't wait for it. That's just a side benefit. That is one of the biggest issues with depression is most people that are depressed are waiting for something. They're on hold. They have an expectation. They have a hope that some magical thing is going to happen that's going to come through for them. You know, that the, that the economy is going to change, that they're going to get this magical call. They're going to win the lottery. Their boyfriend, their girlfriend, their husband, their wife is going to change. 
and they're not going to be the way they are now anymore. People don't change. They only change when they want to. And the only time people are going to change is when they, if, when they have to. Not, not, that's the only, and that's like at the last possible minute. So stop waiting. That's so important. Stop waiting for others to come through for you. I don't want to make this a long video. Just keep that in mind. I think a lot of you know what I'm talking about in your own situation. Stop waiting for others to come through for you. You got to do it on your own. Um, I have a depression ebook at marcusebooks.com. It walks you through everything. And again, you got to be clean. You got to be eating right. You got to be getting enough sleep and get rid of the negative people in your life. Stop taking in the negative stuff like the paranoia on the internet. You know, people make you paranoid about stuff. You can't do anything anymore based on what's out there. Just shut off all that negativity and that chatter and the paranoia. Find things that make you feel good. Find people that make you feel good, but don't be a burden on them and don't expect them to come through and save you. Be independent. Independence, that's my, that's my whole thing is heal yourself. That's why I wrote the book, Heal Yourself. Not just physically with what you eat, but you gotta heal yourself emotionally. You gotta not, you can't be baggage for other people because you don't want them to be baggage for you. It goes both ways. So you have to find what it is that makes you, you know, start with the first step and then just do what you can handle and start with that one step at a time. It takes a lot of effort to crawl out of a hole, financial hole, emotional hole, relationship hole, whatever it is, you know, having a purpose in life, making yourself feel better, look better, whatever it is, you got to take the steps on your own. Okay. That's the message for today. Um, I stay tuned for the next one. Uh, this is important. Everybody's going through it. There are certain things that you can eat and there are certain things to avoid. Like I said, avoid the sugar, avoid the caffeine and the cigarettes and the alcohol and the stimulants and the, the things that make you high. That's not going to fix the problem. It's just going to make it inevitably longer. You're going to crash twice as hard afterwards. That's not the answer. The answer is to stay clean, be clean, clean yourself out of the negative food, the negative people, the negative thoughts, the paranoia and start with what you can handle. You need to switch from victim mode to warrior mode. I hope this helps. Stay tuned for the next video. I'm here to help you. Subscribe to this channel, tell all your friends, because this is about having a healthy, happy life. Everything that's involved with it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.